morning traders. Welcome to the Asia preview and the North American wrap from Privateer FX. <clears throat> Take a look at a few charts today. Um, Urien is kind of interesting. Remember we drew these horizontal lines a long time ago. We've got this 131.15 on the downside and 134.50 on the top side. Had a strong day. Here's today's bar. Had a big up move, and it was interesting as it was rallying. It was was pretty much bid all day long, even with uh, a little bit of equity weakness that we saw today. Here's the daily S and P chart. We did not make a new high today, but we 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 closed you know pretty close to the lows of the day. <clears throat> Here's the Nasdaq, similar although Nasdaq did make a new all time high and then close lower on the day. So those are two reversal patterns we'll be watching. Um, the DAX was under some pressure as well, and uh, the VIX had a little bit of a move up here, about 5% higher, back up to the 10 handle. So Eurian was interesting. You know, generally, in, in uh, it, it acts the opposite of what it did today, where if we look at the... 60-minute hourly chart. <clears throat> you can see all throughout the North American session, right, basically right from the, the onset at uh, 6 a.m., 7, 7 o'clock New York, there was a good buyer, and we went up from this 133 uh, all the way up to this 133.90 was the high. We closed out at 133.65. We're a little bit higher here in Asia. But, it, you know, usually cross yen goes lower on equity selling and we had some big moves in the in the big steepening in the US 2s 10s today and you know it's just to remind you that it's been flattening now for some time we had some big moves in the US fixed income higher yields and i think that kind of lent a hand to to dollar yen staying staying pretty much bid all day long Here's your dollar yen chart. You can see the same thing straight up during uh, during North American session. So euro yen for me, back to the euro yen chart. If we get above this 134.50, it's got a lot of room to the top side. I mean, here's a daily. We got it. We have to actually go to the weekly, and even that, you know, we're going all the way back to. Uh, 2015 levels. So last month's close is 134 the figure and the high that we said was 135 134.50. So keep an eye on this area up here if this breaks, you know, we could get a, a couple handle, a couple hundred point move higher. Let's pop over to everyone's favorite chart Bitcoin. It's actually very interesting. The price action just in the past hour or so, we closed out here at 17,800. So here's a 100 hour moving average. And a lot of these technicians are, are using this. A lot of these retail type traders are using very basic moving averages for support and resistance. Closed into the 100 hour moving average and, you know, went down from 18,700 down to 17,800. So almost a thousand point move. Consolidated a little bit here, and then we breached this 200-hour moving average. Couldn't get back above it, and then you can see this big down bar. I'm not sure what this was. Um, Coinbase announced they were going to allow trading in Bitcoin Cash, which is another uh, another um, alternative coin. And I think when that news hit, there was some decent selling in some of these other altcoins. You know, Bitcoin taking the biggest brunt of it. It went from 17,825 down to 14,000. Closed out the hour here at just under 17,000. You know, you can see here we're under a little bit of pressure. So I wonder if some of that money, there's some rotation going out of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Similar type move where Ethereum had a big, had a, had a move from, uh, we closed at 826 and it got all the way down to 700. That is holding above the 200 
period moving average, 200 hour in this case. And you can see Ethereum's down about 10%, Bitcoin's down 10%, Litecoin is down 11%, similar bar there. And then if you go over to um, the Bitcoin Cash, that's up about 25%. I don't have the chart here. So it looks like a bit of a rotation. Anyhow, that's, the, that's enough for cryptos. Again, highly volatile, very illiquid. Um, I would be extremely careful trading that. Uh, it's definitely for uh, you know, more, more professional traders that are used to volatility and markets go down much faster than they go up, as all of you know. No economic data coming up. We do have the Bank of Japan tomorrow during Asia. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be paying attention to that. Nothing really, uh, New Zealand GDP, early Asia tomorrow, and existing home sale and crude oil inventories out of the U.S., and that's, that's it. Really nothing in, uh, nothing in Europe. Um, so that's a wrap. Have a, a, a good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best.